Rockers first demo of 2021 is for the Beyond Tube preamp and the Beyond Tube buffer. Here's the preamp and here's the buffer. These are Marty Friedman's signature pedals, handmade in Japan, and they're unique pedals. So uh, let's start with the buffer. It's got an output jack for a tuner as well as the standard output jack. So when you turn the switch on and off, it kicks the buffer on and off, and also it'll AB between the main output and the tuner output, so you can tune silently if you want. There's also a boost circuit built in. It'll go anywhere from unity gain all the way up to, I'm not quite sure how many dB of boost. But anyway, there's a substantial amount of boost there if you want to kick the front end of your amp and drive harder into the front end of your amp, maybe into overdrive, or maybe if you're trying to even out the volume of different guitars, that sort of thing. Okay, now the preamp. Onto the preamp. This is a unique pedal. There's a few other pedals out there that sort of have some similar features. The simplifier comes to mind. There's also the Thermion uh, Zero that I just did a demo of. But those are a little, they've got some different features going on and stuff than this pedal. So number one, this is tube. So there's a, a tube circuit in there and it sounds like it. It's got a warm kind of gooey sort of tube quality to it that's really nice. Uh, there's also a three band EQ built in and a volume control and that's it. Now, there's no speaker simulation or anything like that in this pedal. What this thing is, is it's kind of like the preamp section of a guitar amplifier. Okay, so you could put this on your pedal board, run all your pedals into it and stuff, put this like last in your chain I would say, and it'll drive and buffer your signal coming out of your pedal board. And what they designed it to be run into was uh, either tube power amp or solid state power amp, or maybe into like the effect return of a guitar amplifier. So if you wanna run into like an amplifier in a rehearsal space, or like, you know, you're going to a jam or something like that, and there's a house amp, you can have all your pedals on your pedal board running into this. This shapes your tone, like, you know, the front end of an amp would, and then you go out into your power amp and amplify into speakers. So uh, to kind of get a really high quality tube preamp front end kind of thing going on, as opposed to just running your pedal board into any old amp, I guess, is the thinking. Um, they also mention in the ad copy on their website that if you're used to playing through digital plugins and that sort of thing, like maybe you record using plugins like Amplitube and things like this, uh, try this running into the plugins to add some warmth and sort of real tube analog character uh, to those plugins. On that song in the beginning of the video, all the tracks were cut with me running the preamp pedal into the power section of my PT-15 amp. Clean 15 watt power amp, I didn't run it too hard or too loud or anything like that, running out into the, the cabinet that's mic'd in the other room. And I was running various distortion and overdrive pedals into the preamp and shaping the tone here. So much like running an overdrive or distortion into a clean amplifier front end, out into a power amp and then into the cab. So that's what you were hearing. For one part, the very last solo in the song, what I did was I ran this right into the front end of my PT-15 on its channel two, on its crunchy channel, and I boosted using this pedal. So more like, I, I used it like an overdrive, boosting into the front end, and it sounds cool for that too. It's actually like a use for it. It's not the intended use, but I actually thought it was really quite cool. So as far as controls on here, you've got a volume control and then a three band EQ, bass, middle, and treble, and the on off switch, and that's about it. So I wanna make this mainly about the sounds because I wanna show you a bunch of different ways that I use the pedal. So let's get on to some sound examples. Okay, so let's talk about and demonstrate one of the intended uses for the Beyond Tube preamp, which is to act like the preamp section of a guitar amplifier. So all guitar amps feature some sort of preamp. Generally speaking, some amplification stages, and then there'll be a tone stack of some sort. Everything from a simple like one knob tone control to a bass, middle, treble sort of tone stack. And that is, once again, to bump up the level of the guitar signal from the really low level just coming right out of the pickups. Bump that up, shape it, and add some EQ. And then you send that signal onto the guitar power amplifier. That amplifies the signal up through the speakers to whatever level you, that you want. If we don't have that preamplifier in line, it ends up sounding pretty uninspiring. So like, we can demonstrate this easily right now. I'll turn off the Beyond 2 preamp, it's off, and nothing on, and essentially my guitar is plugged right into the power amp of my PT-15 amplifier now. Okay, so like if you ran your guitar right into the effect return, this is the sound that you would get. Okay, just kind of a flat, uninspiring sort of sound. Now I'll turn on the Beyond 2 preamp. Okay, so now we've shaped the tone a little bit via the three band EQ in here, and uh, the, you can hear the level's getting bumped up, and that's with the, the volume control all the way down on the Beyond 2 preamp. If I want to increase it a little bit and push the power stage in the amp, I can do that.
Okay, so you can hear that the preamp really adds a lot to the tone. I mean, without it, it's just kind of flat and uninspiring. Uh, some people wonder whether or not they can plug like an overdrive pedal and distortion pedal right into the effect return of an amplifier and get a cool sound, like because they think, I guess, like at that point, the overdrive pedal serves as the preamp. Um, I think that an overdrive pedal and a distortion pedal, you know, I, the, your mileage may vary, but I don't think that they're substitutes for the front end of a guitar amplifier. That warm, you know, tube stage front end of a guitar amplifier has a really, really huge effect on the tone. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. I've got a Friedman small box pedal here, and I'll turn off the Beyond 2 preamp, I'll turn on the Friedman, and we'll listen to the sound of the Friedman running essentially direct into the power amp of the guitar amp. And you'll hear that it's an okay sound, but then when I add the Beyond 2 preamp, it just shapes the tone and the color just gets so much cooler. You can hear how much juicier it sounds. I mean, the level increases, but it also sounds like like I've got a tube stage in line. It just gets juicier. It's not necessarily adding any overdrive or anything like that, but what it is doing is giving you clean amplification and just that tube uh, coloration, as well as the coloration of the tone stack of the pedal, so I can shape the tone further. So this is the way that I recorded uh, almost all of the tracks on that song at the beginning of the video, with various pedals running into the Beyond Tube preamp and amplifying the signal into my guitar amplifier's power amplifier. Okay, so let's talk about the Beyond Tube buffer for a second here and what it can do for your, your guitar signal. Basically, uh, the purpose of a buffer is to drive your guitar signal through all the way through your effects and all your guitar cable through to the amplifier and retain a good tone, retain a good, strong, clear guitar tone. So if you like the sound of your guitar plugged right into your amp, with no pedals or anything, with say a 15 foot cable or a 20 foot cable, even that cable is actually changing your guitar sound a little bit. You're getting a little bit of loss, even with a, a 10 foot or a 15 or a 20 foot cable, but it can sound good actually, and a little bit of capacitance it's called, which is the high frequency loss that you're gonna get uh, when using guitar cables. A little bit of that is sometimes desirable. Um, to just warm up the guitar tone a little bit. So this is the sound of my guitar with a good uh, Planet Waves or uh, D'Addario cable here plugged into my amp. It's about 15 feet long, I think. I'm in the middle pickup position and it sounds like this. So now if I plug into this um, True Bypass pedal here, this, this TC pedal, and I've got another cable plugged into the output, now I'm adding about another 15 or 20 feet of cable to the sound and listen to how it changed. Here I've got a little bit darker, a little bit more of the high end got rolled off. Okay, that's just the sound of me adding that extra cable to the signal. And these are good quality cables, um, but no matter what, with a, a guitar signal, uh, a high impedance guitar circuit, the way it is, it ends up losing high end the more cable that you add. So the purpose of the buffer is to retain that first guitar sound that I had, okay? So let's go back and listen to that just one more time here. This is the sound of the, the 15 feet of cable. Okay, so I want to keep that sound. So I'm going to put the Beyond Tube buffer in line. Excuse me. And now you hear that the guitar signal, even though I'm running through the full, like 40 feet almost of cable, sounds very much like I'm plugged directly into the amplifier uh, with, the, with the shorter cable. So uh, that's what a buffer does, is it basically is gonna drive your guitar signal through all your pedals and your effects and long cable lengths to your amplifier and keep it nice and clear. And it's always a good rule of thumb to put a buffer at the point in your chain where it basically sounds good to you and then if you keep adding pedals or cables beyond that point, it starts getting dull beyond what you like. So if that makes sense. So if that means 
15 feet of cable or 20 feet of cable. Like you might use a 15 or 20 foot cable to your guitar pedal board and then maybe have like uh, a couple pedals and that sounds good to you. But anything beyond that, adding some more pedals seems to degrade the tone. That's the point where you want to add the buffer in your signal essentially. And the last point is there's a few pedals out there that don't like having a buffer in front of them. Okay, so like a fuzz face, Univibe, those style of pedals, generally speaking, are not good candidates for having a buffer in front. So you'll want to run your guitar into your pedal board, and if you use a fuzz face style fuzz, or maybe a Univibe, or certain other fuzz pedals, certain treble boosters, like a Range Master style treble booster, they don't like buffers either. So you're going to want to put the buffer down chain from those pedals, and then run all your, most overdrives and distortion units, and uh, certainly any mod or delay or reverb effects are fine with a buffer in front of them. Okay, so... That's a little, little brief on buffers there. And uh, the Beyond Tube buffer also features a uh, boost in it. So there's a gain pot on the side. And if you want to turn that up, you can actually add some clean gain to the signal to maybe boost, you know, like up the output of quiet guitars or even uh, drive your amplifier into a little bit of natural tube distortion. So let's hear that. <laughs> Okay, so just a little bit of clean gain there on tap. And if my amp is on the edge of breakup, like this, I can now push it into overdrive. Guitarists, thanks for watching my video on the Beyond Tube Buffer and the Beyond Tube Preamp signature Marty Friedman pedals designed to satisfy the tube aficionado in all of us for those that love those gooey, tube, luscious, fantastic guitar tones. This one especially is really unique, the preamp, designed to go on a pedal board, designed to uh, drive into either a, a tube or solid state power amp or maybe the effect return of a guitar amp and allow the guitar player to shape their tone with all their pedals on the board and then provide a really, really nice uh, tube amp style front end, but in a pedal format. You can check them out further at the link down in the video description below. Click there, it'll take you to all the info that you could ever want to know about the Beyond Tube Buffer and the Beyond Tube Preamp. Please hit subscribe if you haven't. Hit the little bell beside the subscribe and you will get an alert every time I put out a new video. Over and out. Take care. See ya.